just want to talk for a second about the political double standard that's out there at the moment. Um, if a black guy attacks a white guy, it's just a black guy attacking a white guy. If a white guy attacks a black guy, it's racism. Um, and people jump to this conclusion without going into the details, but people are all too willing to attribute racism to white people and not hold other uh, races to the same standard. Um, this is true politically as well, that if there is an utterance um, put out there by a left winger, um, it usually goes without comment, but if, if a right winger makes this, the same utterance there, you know, they can be cancelled and uh, their career and reputations completely ruined. Um, one example of this um, that I came across recently, uh, when going through the, the BBC's archives, Andrew Neil, when he still worked for the BBC, um, he had his own his own show there. I don't know what it was called, but he had Diane Abbott on, and uh, you know you don't get much sense out of Diane Abbott at the best of times. I think she's extraordinarily uneducated, and nah, I, I don't want to, to to insult her too much, but um, she just she doesn't seem at the races a lot of the time. But she's Labour Party socialist, and she she's been around for a long time now. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, she was on a panel there with with Michael Portillo, and uh, Andrew Neil was was interviewing them both, and it got into the uh, onto the topic of you know right versus left historically. And she came out and said something that I think should have been the end of Diane Abbott. She said that, on the whole, Chairman Mao did more good than harm. Um, Michael Portillo, God love me, nearly fell off his seat. Um, to, to even say such a thing, uh, 55 million people dead. No, he did more good than harm. I'd, I'd love to ask Diana, but what is this good that Mao Zedong did to make up for the 55 million dead bodies, um, most uh, of which were killed uh, between 1958 and 1962 in his great leap forward and cultural revolution and all the other unbelievably bright ideas the man had. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what this good is, but the the uh, the point I'm making. I mean, stupid people say stupid things all the time, but we didn't hear any. This is quite a few years ago now, and we didn't hear anything about it. Can you imagine if Michael Portillo, um, a you know conservative, on the same panel in the same conversation, said, well. You know, Hitler certainly did some bad things. He wasn't a perfect guy. But I think on the whole, he probably did more good than harm. What, what would have happened to Michael Portillo? His career would have been over before he left the studio. And rightly so, in my opinion. Rightly so. Um, but if it's a left-winger discussing a historically you know, left-wing communist dictator, it goes without any notice that she could say such an unbelievably reprehensible uh, thing like Mao did more good than harm. If Portillo did it as a right-winger with Hitler, uh, we would still be talking about it today. And Mao killed a lot more people than, than Hitler did. Um, but... Maybe if you take the the, the the Second World War as a whole, it's it's about the same. But certainly Hitler wasn't. Maybe he was the catalyst, but you know the Japanese and the certainly 
uh, added to that uh, to that body count. But um, yeah, there's a serious double standard in in modern politics in the West, and it always runs one way. Um, a leftist can say something, right winger says the exact same thing, and he's cancelled, and the leftist gets off scot free. It's got to stop.